I have an old video, I just remade the audio since it was in a different language. Um, I have a Pentium tray computer with a docking station for the parallel port, a power supply, 19 volt power supply, and um, I have a big stepping motor. And I have a driver for the motor, it's just a 4 transistor and 4 opto isolator to protect the computer and um, a power resistor to reduce the current to, to the motor. And um, the motor has four coils and eight wires, so you have uh, access to old coils, so you could uh, use it in any configuration you want. It has 200 steps for a complete rotation, so 1.8 degree per rotation. I have a s wrote a, a small program in, a, in Turbo C. It's a very simple, just uh, uh, using the parallel port to, to supply current to each coil individually. I can say how many steps it should uh, make and what is the delay between each step and also which direction it should rotate uh, clockwise or anti-clockwise. Like, like now it's, it will rotate anti-clockwise, it, it will make one rotation, one complete rotation. So it, it, it took about 10 seconds to do this because it was uh, 200 steps in uh, with 50 milliseconds for each step. Yeah, I, will, I will change the uh, direction of the rotation. Now it's uh, clockwise. And of course it's the same 50 milliseconds, so it will take 10 seconds again and I can reduce this this time to 5 milliseconds and you see now it takes only about one second to make a complete rotation and I can say to to make only half of the rotation so 100 steps Now it will make two complete rotations, so 400 steps. The fastest it can go without losing any steps, it's about 3 milliseconds. As you can see, it works fine. And I can try with 2 milliseconds, but it will lose some steps. I found the board that I was using, so I made a close-up video of this board. It's just, um, like I said, for opto-isolator to protect the computer, because the computer parallel port is probably not, not isolated, I'm not sure. And I used four, four transistor to drive the, the coils for the motor. And also I used four diodes to protect from reverse currents. And yeah, I don't think I can say much more about this. You'll probably want to use a real driver if you want to, to use a stepper motor and not something like this. But um, I just wanted to, to see how the stepper motor is working and I just did this board, so it will probably not be useful for you. If you have any questions, please leave a comment and 
I will try to answer.